We are back at Emma because we came here last night and it was amazing. Maybe our favorite meal so far. We got the calzone and I almost did not order the cacio e pepe, but Brian insisted. So, shout out to Brian. All right, top pick of the trip. Just as good as last night. Mm. days to find a waffle in Rome because apparently they're only available during the winter but I found one and I covered it in Nutella and pistachio cream and then Nutella ice cream. Can you tell I have a Nutella addiction? We are at Roma Sparita because I heard they had cacio e pepe and cheese bowl and we've seen the big cheese bowls but these are actually an actual cheese bowl, fried parmesan cheese bowl. Definitely one of my favorites so far here. We've been eating a lot. called two sizes and they have two different sizes of tiramisu's um, I got the large sizes uh, they have cool flavors like well they have the classic and then they have peanut butter caramel uh, pistachio so I got classic and then the peanut butter but they also have I'm very excited Nutella stuffed cannolis I cannot wait to dig in plus we also got it wasn't on the floor there was something there okay Nutella stuffed cannolis. This is like my heaven. I cannot wait. We're digging in. Beauty shots are done. Now it's time to eat. I'm going straight for the classic. Wow. Possibly. Possibly. Best tiramisu. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I've never had peanut butter tiramisu, but I'm about to and I'm very excited. If you didn't know, peanut butter is like my new latest thing. Not up to Nutella yet, but. Mmm. It's not like crazy peanut butter. It's just like a hint. Holy moly. That is awesome. Wow. I'm very excited. I might have to go try the other one too. I can't resist. <laughs> Next, Nutella. Now we have to break into these. Wait for it. <laughs> Like I said, the name of the restaurant is called Two Sizes, and this is a small size. How adorable is this? And I got the strawberry flavor since we tried some of the other ones. So cute. Strawberry is my least favorite, but it's still adorable. Really cute place. Bonus tip, you need to go there. Candy. I have my 
favorite twist as a shake. I might have to check a bag because I need these. <laughs> our go-to order here. We got the Amatruciana and the Cacio e Pepe. So very excited to dig in, but uh, we also ordered Cacio e Pepe pizza. So very excited, Cacio e Pepe everything here. Another day, another Cacio e Pepe. <laughs> Best days are in a row. Another contender. This is gonna be a really, a really hard one. I love how it's served too. The Amatriciana. And this one's served with like a rigatoni. A lot of times it's been with um, like a longer pasta. My favorite, the guanciale, nice and fried. Mm. Mm. This might be a new favorite spot. My happy place. All right, Jessica said that this is a contender for best top pick of the trip. So I'm gonna mix it all up. Find a good warm spot. Mmm. Yeah, she wasn't lying. This is the first one we've had today, so we also haven't eaten pasta in like eight hours because we're sleeping, so that might give it a, an advantage, but right now it's feeling like the best. Eating to visit the Coliseum because when in Rome. I'm melting. I'm man down here. Man down. Time for the carbonara. Yay, I'm so excited. I mean, the Cacio Pepe and the Amatriciana are so good, so I have a good feeling. Yep, just as delicious. And yesterday we got the cacio e pepe pizza. Today we went the margarita classic. Mmm, simple, delicious. But my favorite still, it's high between the Amatriciana and the cacio e pepe. But these are awesome. Rock this place. Cocktails here at Rosholis. You say it much nicer than I do, though. Rosholis. Rosholis. And then, what's the difference between the restaurant and here? Well, the difference is like um, they work more on M and cheese. Uh, we have like this social table, this this big social table for ten people. We serve also the lunch and, um, and a lot of the cocktails. So, can you get these cocktails here over there? Yeah, of course. Okay. And what's the name of the drink we're making? It's a uh, Cafe del Conte. So like a spin on a Negroni. Yeah, not too much, but... A little more sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> we can say that. Everyone, literally everybody, recommended Rosholi's. And so we went there and they were booked. She said, go two doors next there. Go two doors down. And we're here at the coffee and bar. Yeah, the coffee shop. 
coffee shop. Shoddy, but you could get the pasticceria. And you could get the same pasta. Of course. Which is same what we're doing. The pasta, yep. Awesome. So we ordered the cacio e pepe, amacicciana, and the carbonara, and this beautiful cocktail, which is called the Cafe de Conte. Cafe de Conte. And your name again. My name is Daniele. Very nice. Thank you. Started off with Nutella, gelato, <laughs> this thing, and then we got uh, pistachio with like a cherry, almost like a tartufo, and then this crazy feast of a dessert, with, like layers of um, tiramisu and cream. I can't wait to dig in. See? All right, now. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. Hey, hey. That'll rock this place. Hey, hey. That'll rock this place. Hey, hey. 